Okay, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Mr. How are you doing? All right. Oh, not so well. Yeah, hey, um, good, good. Hello, oh, Jake. wonderful. Yeah, great. How about you? Everything is all right, too. Thank you so much for asking. All right, good. Actually, I have a question for you. Nevertheless, I was wondering if I can try to write the questions uh, in private, probably on WhatsApp. It's regarding to the situation that I told you the last time for the next week that I won't be able to connect it. Okay, but the but the people from uh, uh, English Corporativo know about it? Yeah, I told them. I oh, told yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, because they, they are the ones to... I mean, how can I mean? It's, uh, when we talk about the, the these issues, you know, they are the ones in charge, right? I mean, if it is about that, then uh, if they know, I think uh, I'm okay with that. Just uh, thank you for for letting me know. So then I won't be I won't be asking for you in the in the sessions, right? But uh, if they if they already have given you a solution, then uh, I think it's it's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because no, it's, it's yes. really a, a really right. It's really hard situation for me because I have to leave, and it's not like like my option already. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and and that's why. And nevertheless, I was wondering if if there is a uh, a situation possible to try to to connect only. You nevertheless, I want to be able to to speak right to mm -hmm. to say anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not sure. Is not it okay? Problem. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That's Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. No, no, no. That's okay. If um, a, yes, that's why you know we have the the groups and everything. So if you need to contact me, you can perfectly do it. No problem. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Good. Um. Uh, what about uh? Okay. Hello, Jenny. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good. Just uh, testing the the sound because today I'm using a different computer, and it seems to be a little bit out of focus. But uh, my my com uh, microphone of the, my computer is broken now. I connecting my headphone. Uh huh. That's that's what happened with mine. You no, know, mine. Uh, this one actually. Well, the other one they are uh, changing some uh, uh, some parts, and in this one I didn't use it because of the because of the uh, speakers because, uh, like you said, it's not the, it's broken too. So, but I see that it's working. We need a new computer, teacher. <laughs> yes. Now that Christmas is coming, you know, I'm going to be writing letters to baby Jesus, Santa Claus. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to write to everybody. You're a good boy. <laughs> All of us, we need a new computer. Yes, of course I am. You know, I, I've been behaving very well, working very hard, working late. So then I, I think I deserve it. <laughs> it's not for playing, it's for work. So You will, you will receive a good present for Santa Claus. <laughs> I hope, I hope. No, if it is, and if it is a present, you know, I'm going to ask for, for a computer. Okay, so I need a computer. Okay, good. Siomara. Hello, Siomara. Hello, teacher. Everyone, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good. Hello, good evening, Siomara. Okay, fine. I'm fine uh, with much work to do. And I have I have problems with the platform. And some answers uh, are wrong. Okay. Every time in, put in... words. In which uh, section? Um, the section, five and... section four or five? Five. Ah, okay. If you want, before we... Okay, let me... Let me go to section five quickly. There should be a low.
now I'm going to Okay, then in the number five, what exercise? Yes, and let me see, please. This is. I'm, I'm beginning the the number five, the knowledge check uh -huh. five point two. Yes, uh, there's. The number two, the number five, and the number seven. Young people. People, okay. young people, yes. Here says instruction of the sentence, possibly or negative, use the verse in parentheses along with a model, right? No capital, no capital letters. Yes, this is. And they, they give you people. Shouldn't be low, shouldn't be allowed, should not be allowed, should be allowed. So number two, young people to get married before age 15. So probably here yeah, it shouldn't be, could be, shouldn't be allowed, right? I had that, one. that way and I don't know why. Always well, is wrong. Let me check. So I'm to say that once. Oh, but that's that's the one. Look, uh, oh here must not be permitted. Okay, so you can use must not. But I I put must, but I put it mustn't mustn't. Uh, yes, but there is a mistake. There is a mistake here. If you notice, if you wrote mustn't with the apostrophe, is correct, mm -hmm. but uh, in the answer. Here, there is a mistake. I see now. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, exactly. Then it's not. It's not your. It's not your bad. <laughs> Actually, it's the it's the platform in this case. I want him to use the, the apostrophe. Uh -huh. Exactly but right. I didn't realize because that. Probably you, you wrote this right. Yes. And that is correct, but in the answer they have added. It's a typo, right? A, a, an extra T. So that was the mistake. That's why if you use the, if I use this one, the correct form, it will be as if it is wrong. Yeah. The sign thing. Then, but if I add the other T, yeah. then this one is going to be correct correct according to the platform, right? Yes. Not according to the language. You look. Yes. Okay, so and then in this, in, this the case, in this case, you better better use the, the, don't use the contraction, right? You say must not. And with number, number five, sciences would be the same. Probably mm -hmm. let's check. Let's check and see. If maybe there there is the same mistake. Number five. They have got to be permitted. Should not be permitted. Must not be. Uh -huh. Must not be permitted. Shouldn't be mm -hmm. permitted. Okay. Or must. Must be permitted. Yes. All of these are but the only one I didn't put was have got to permit it. Mm -hmm. But um I put that the other ones. But with a contraction. Yes, all the all the negative are, are with contractions. Okay, but because if you see here, only this one is with contraction. Mm -hmm. I mean you can use the problem the, this is the problem if this is like uh, google forms because in google forms if i give you a test i have to i have in the in the possible answers i have to write all the possible uh, answers that the participant can give and i can also consider that if the participant forgets to use the 
capital letters. I have to write also the all the same answers with capital letters, with uh, let's say the small case. So then this is this is what happens. Sometimes you have to be like guessing, right? Which is the correct one, okay? But um, but you know this is the in the case of this exercise, only shouldn't has the apostrophe. Okay. Then in all the others, you can use should not be permitted, must not be permitted, uh, shouldn't be permitted, or should be permitted. In this case, you better not use the the construction, right? Did you have any problems with the uh, with the apostrophe? No. I have the copy and paste. Oh, okay. Because... Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean that's a strategy, right? Isn't because in the level before I had that problem, so I prefer to copy and paste it. Yes. Yes. I don't know where they got the their that apostrophe, and that's because you know it doesn't. I think it, it seems like if it is from a cell phone. Or and the, uh, on the cell phone is easier because the in the keyboard is the. The, 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 diff the different kinds the of, of the computer, uh, no. Yes, that's true. Yes, I have the same problem when I when I do these exercises with 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 you. Okay. Thank uh, you very much, teacher. No, no problem. Any other any other one? Just that one. Okay. Yes, I was uh, beginning, and I. I okay. This this uh, shouldn't allow me to to follow the next. Point. Okay, to the next, uh, to the next items. Okay, items. very good. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Sumara. Okay, anybody else who has any questions about platform or exercises or issues that you may have? Because sometimes you see that it's no, it's not that you don't know, right? It's just that there is a a glitch or a mistake. Okay, in the uh, on the platform. Teacher, okay. can you give me a hand with the uh, with uh, uh, an exercise? It's just uh, something very uh, yeah. very quick. Can, sure, can, sure. Can you tell me? Um, I'm not able to understand a part of a video. Well, what does uh, she said after after the word nature? Okay, just uh, just going to play an audio and then you can tell me what does she say. Uh, right, no, but, but in what video? Hello. Hello, Oscar. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. No, I mean Oscar. Oscar Julio was right. Oh, who was? Yes, Oscar. I think I if I forgot the, the, the information. Okay, but don't worry. Okay, let's let's get started with, with the class. Okay. No let problem. me know. Yeah, let me know that later and then. We can do it. Okay, thank you. Sure, sure. Now let's go back then to section four, where we stopped yesterday. And remember that we have the passive voice, right? So today you have to. Uh, this is the video that. No, can't believe it. Okay, this is the video that we couldn't play yesterday. Okay, that talks about that movies are hard work, right? Uh, remember, this is the 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 sequence descriptions of how some things are done. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos for movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? 
Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine-to-five job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. And that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Okay. Okay, you see, for example, the... Wow, I didn't realize that. Here, right, when they said um, working on movies must be, here's one, they say, must be really excited. Okay, so then we have, oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days uh, to shoot, right? So that means that just one minute probably will take a lot of time you know, to record, to film. Then it says, uh, really, why is that? Well, a scene isn't, and here begins with the passive voice, a scene isn't filmed just once. Okay, a film is not filmed just once. Uh, they use the simple, uh, the present, because this is something that, you know, in all the movies happens the same, right? So it's like a routine when they are probably uh, making a movie, right? For example, the in all the movies, probably in um, every time they are uh, working on that, there might be scenes that will take hours, but not all the scenes. There are some scenes that they do the shot at once, but in some others, probably, they will take days or maybe weeks depending on the area, the, the, the degree of difficulty. There are many, many uh, issues, right? Uh, let's say shots have, okay, here's another one. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Okay, this is also a, the passive voice using the, let's say the obligation, right? Lots of shots have to be taken. When we use have to be taken, that those are the modal auxiliaries, right? Have to as an obligation. For example, uh, you have, uh, I've been reading the WhatsApp and then uh, they say that you have to uh, uh, complete or fill in all the exercises in the platform by tomorrow, right? So that means that, for example, the plat platform has to be completed. That is the passive voice. The platform has to be completed. This is when you use the passive voice. And if you see, it's like, a, like an obligation that we have to complete or fulfill an action. Okay. Uh, in the office, your boss can tell you, okay, uh, all the reports of the sales of the month of November have to be presented on Tuesday, okay? Next Tuesday, December 5th, okay? So then this is, they have to be presented 
they have to be finished by that date. So then this is, you know, something that is being uh, formal and it's going uh, like uh, a, an obligation that we have to complete. Then if you see, this is the context, okay, in which we use the passive voice. Uh, the best ones are used, another one, the best ones are used, passive voice, in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need, okay, to be taken? How many times does a typical uh, scene need to be uh, shot? For example, uh, how many times? How many times does uh, does a wall? Okay, listen to this. How many times does a wall has to be painted in order to? Uh, let's say to to look beautiful. This is when we are painting the house. How many times does uh, a wall have to be painted? One time? Two times? Three times? Let's see if you I, I want to know if you if you paint your house or not. Or you or you pay somebody else to do, to do so, huh? You know, I have... unless I saw that he did it many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Well, at least you know that. <laughs> well, these two lawyers. Huh? How, how many, Oscar? For me, the well, these two lawyers. So, uh, okay, with two, uh, with two layer, two layers paint. with you. Okay, painting. Two layers for paint. Two layers of pain. Two layers. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, in my case, for example, you know, I like to paint uh, my house too with my with my children. And, uh, but you know what I do? I always paint the house the same color. And then uh, since it is the same color, then just with one layer, it's going to be enough. Okay. One time and you just retouch, you know, some touches to the, to the, let's say dirty part and it's and it works good one time i saw my neighbor he had he had painted the house like a dark blue color and then after he wanted to paint it gray and like you said i remember this guy painting his house i mean at least the the, the facade facade the facade is the front part of the house it was the the facade and then he first he started, you know, painting with a, uh, well, you know, first he was scratching all the the old paint. After that, he used uh, a, but he couldn't remove everything. So then he started painted, uh, uh, with a base color white, okay. But you could still see the dark blue color, you know, in the background. So then, uh, he then after he was painting like six or seven times, you know, the layer after layer, and then he never stopped. And then, but it took him like two or three days painting one wall, you know, because the other color was too dark. And then the guy wanted a lighter color. So I think it depends on that. It's more difficult. So that's why, you know, in my case, I prefer light colors. Okay, and I usually use the same color right so then i don't have to paint it all okay good questions about vocabularies in this uh conversation guys girls boys are we okay okay now let's see there is another one. Here says the uh, participants will be able to understand and practice passive to describe a process. Okay, let's watch this video and after it's your practice. Hello, in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes.
The passive to describe process. Is are plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus be plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, be plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of be plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then and after to help you out. Artbook and get ready to take notes. The okay. passive to describe process. Is are plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this, before we begin, let me review the reasons. Past participle. Okay, look at the two rules. Here it says, okay. In this one, we don't know who does the action. Okay, and in the other one is, we, uh, the doer of the action is not important. Okay, the person who is a, uh, the app for, right? The person, this is the doer of the action. And for example, this is the first, the, the same thing. We don't know who does the action because sometimes the doer of the action is not important. Uh, let's see in the sentences here. Process. Okay. Uh, Carla Rene, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm Good evening. Fine. Okay, great. Could you please read the first, uh, first two sent the sentences on the left, the two sentences. Okay, is are plus past participle. A scene is in a film just once. Only the best shots are used. Okay, so here, for example, a uh, who is the doer of the action? We don't know, right? So that's what the, for example, but we are saying, for example, uh, and we don't know who that, uh, or it's not important because sometimes it's obvious. Okay, sometimes it's obvious. For example, when we have a scene isn't filmed just one, who films? Who films? We know that. The same. Who actor? A scene. Uh -huh, but who? Who films? No, but this is the, the scene is what they film. But who films the scene? We don't know, teacher. Mm, somehow, yes. The, the recording man? Uh huh, the cameraman. The camera. camera. Yes, the, cam cameraman. the cameraman, the director. Who else? The actors, okay, the actors and actresses. Okay, so they are the ones who film the scene, right? The cameraman, because he has the camera and he's filming, okay? 
that uh, his syntax in this case is the most important. But since we can deduce that information by logic, it's not necessary. Okay. But listen to this. We are going to use it if uh, the the doer of the action is somebody or, or the information of the doer of the action is something extraordinary. Okay. For example, suppose what if I tell you, uh, have you seen, this is not true, okay? It's not true, it's just uh, an example. Have you seen uh, Fast and Furious 9? Yes? Have you seen it? Fast and Furious 9? Uh, the movie? Uh, no. Yes. Well, okay. What? What yes, is yes. what is something that characterizes this uh movie? What is like the most common scene? Racing cars. Racing cars, right? And then a lot of action. Okay, this is this is the this is the example. Uh well, those scenes, okay, those scenes are filmed by a blind cameraman. And you say, really? Wow. That's, that's, I mean, curious information, right? Imagine a blind man filming, okay, the, the most dangerous or the most exciting uh, scenes in a movie, okay? So then you can say the action, uh, the action scenes in nine, uh, Fast and Furious 9 are filmed by a blind guy. Wow. Okay. So in that case, it's important. It is necessary to say or use the doer of the action. Okay. But, you know, since it is something very common, normal, in this case, a scene is filmed, isn't filmed just once. I mean, we know that the cameraman can take a hundred shots or more. Okay. Look at the other one say only the best shots are used. Who uses the best shots? Now it's not the cameraman. Who uses the best shots? Maybe the director? Exactly. He says, yes, I like that one. Okay, no, no, I don't like that one. We have to repeat it. He's the one who says repeat or, or you know, or you can say the, okay, this one is, it stays, right? It stays or goes. Exactly, the director. And probably the, if he has a filming team, maybe they do it, correct? But you see, we can sometimes, it's obvious in those cases, we don't use it, okay? For example, if you say uh, a drunk, a drunk that driver was arrested. Do I need to say arrested by the police? Is it necessary? If I said a drunk man was <laughs> Yes. No, this is not important. Exactly right. It's not important unless, unless something extraordinary happens. Right, a drunk driver was arrested by some civilians because he was putting in danger children's life. Okay, so then and then they arrested and they took him to the police. Okay, you know, this guy is drunk, he's doing this, they have videos and everything, and he was putting in danger. Okay, in that case, it would be probably necessary to use it. But when it is something that is common, normal, we don't need it. Okay, so that's why they say in this part, we don't know who does the action or the doer of the action is not important. Now, when we don't know is, for example, when we use the passive voice and we say, eh, my, my pencil was stolen from my backpack. My pencil was stolen from my backpack. Okay. In that case, we cannot say names. We cannot give an idea because we don't know. All right? 
eh, the, the piece of cake was, eh, was eaten by someone or was taken by someone from the teacher's room. Okay, somebody took a piece of cake, ate it, we don't know what happened. Okay, but the piece of cake is not there. Okay, in those cases, we don't know, right? So there are cases in, in there will be cases in which we will never know, or in the moment of saying the sentence, we, will, we won't know who did that action. Okay, is that clear? Okay, in those cases is when we use, you know, the passive voice. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, be plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of be plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus be plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Okay, remember the models may, might, could, must, uh, can. Okay, all those models, if you want to change them into or to switch them, to swap them into passive voice, you're going to use the model, the form of B. Okay, B for all of them. No am, no is, no are, no conjugated. Okay, you're going to say can be. Could be, must be, might be, may be, okay? One thing may be shot from five to six. Okay, maybe is that 50%, 50 percent, 50 50. They say, well, one thing might be, if we use might, is less possible, less probable that something happens, right? Might is like the 25 percent of probabilities that we repeat something. Okay, uh, could is similar to might. Then you have could, might, and then may, and then when you say must. Okay, must is like 100%, from 90 to 100% of certainty that something is going to happen. Okay, so one thing, yes. Do you always uh, use passing with models with uh, formal reports? Yes, I mean it's better. Sounds better. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, if the action also is a, a let's say a, a allows there are some if remember that the verb has to be transitive. Okay. For example, you say uh, if I say I must, I must be worked tomorrow is not possible, okay? Because I am not going to be worked. I am going to work. So there are some verbs uh, which are not transitive that uh, you cannot use the passive voice. In that case, we only use the model, okay? And we say, uh, I must work tomorrow, okay? Uh, some friends are call. So suppose some friends are uh, calling me to, to go and uh, let's say and have a party tonight. And I say, no, I can't. Because I must work tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. Okay. And then uh so I can't I can be uh for example uh, I can no I can't stay. So you see I can stay. You cannot say I can stay up too late. So there are some verbs in which it's not going to be possible. And then you use only the model and the verb. Okay, but in the but it's, it's, if you're using the model, it's still formal. Okay, it's still formal. Okay, uh, now yesterday, remember, I told you that you could prepare something to to talk and to share. I'll give you an example. Suppose that I said a, similar to the first sentence in this example, and I said, okay, uh, the school. Uh, 
Let me see the school. The let me see. I, I the 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 English program. Okay, the English program is open. Okay, in this case it's not passive voice. It's open for some students. Only the best students are elected to participate in this program. Okay, then I am using, because you know, some schools have special programs, but they don't give it to all the students because not all the students want to do it. Not all the students have the same uh, ability. Okay, probably the English is for a group, math is for another group, uh, science is for another group, and then you can say this science group uh, is, uh, let's say, are selected. So students are selected according to their ability. All right, so this is you know how you can start with your point. But I think I told Julie, uh, Julio, right? Julio has something for uh, about yeah. uh, yes. Okay, let's listen to Julio. And after, if anybody else wants to participate voluntarily, you can do it. Okay, uh, give me a minute. Sure. Okay, uh, I'm I'm gonna talk about uh, appendectomy. Uh, it, it is the uh, surgical removal. It, it it is the surgical removal of the of the appendix. A small tool that 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 branches off the large intestine uh, to treat acu acute appendicitis. Appendicitis is the acute inflammation of the tube due to the infection. Uh, first. Uh, first, uh, um, first uh, spinal is spinal anesthesia must be applied inside the back to to numb it to numb it from the waist down. Yes. Before it starting it starting the appen uh, appendicitis. Appendicitis, right? Up, uh, 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 or the appendix. Appendectomy. Oh, appendectomy. Okay. Uh, uh, a sepsis of the abdominal skin must be uh, performed. Then a cut or incision has to be made in the lower right part of the abdomen through the skin, muscle wall, a uh, muscle wall, and peritoneum. After that, uh, the abdominal muscle must be separated and the abdominal area has to be open. Then the appendix has to be the appendix has to be uh, tied off with stitches and removed. After the appendix is removed, the incision has to be closed with surgical thread. And finally, if the appendix has burst or rupture. The abdomen must be washed out with salt water or saline. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the procedure to, to do that. To treat. Uh -huh. To treat to, the appendicitis. Uh -huh. Exactly. And to save a life, right? Very simple. <laughs> yeah. You, after that, if you don't remove it on time, it's more uh, complicated, right? Yeah, there must be uh must be a uh, an an infection. Mm -hmm. and it can be a spread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see, for example, since this is a very technical uh explanation or description, uh, Julio used a lot of forms. Okay, of uh a passive voice. He used models. He had something that has to be. Must be right because if you don't do it, you know the patient dies, right? So then, yeah. uh, for example, can you repeat the the sentence when you were talk at the beginning, when you were talking about that anesthesia has to be applied? Okay. Huh? Read that sentence again. Here, um, uh, first, uh, 
spinal anesthesia must be applied inside the back of back uh to numb okay that one that one okay uh -huh. to numb okay look in the chat people numb okay he this is a verb to uh -huh. to numb to okay. numb this is you know to to make the muscles i mean sleep right uh -huh. but then but you don't say sleep in english you use the word numb Okay, when we have been sitting, okay, sitting for a long time, and when we stand up, oh, you know, we can, we almost fall because our legs are numb, right? Like if they have applied some anesthesia. Okay, that vocabulary you can also use it uh, in in other, uh, let's say, in other contexts. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Julio. Excellent, excellent. Very, very thank good. You. I mean, it was very clear. Actually, the pronunciation and everything, the process, very nice. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, anybody else who wants to share something? I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, like a procedure like that, like the one I told you, for example, you know, in the school, we have a special program, okay? And in that program, uh, the students are selected, only the student, the best students are selected to be part of the program, okay? Uh, and these programs are used to improve their level of English and they don't have to pay any extra money, okay? Only. So then you know, for example, how a program works in my school, simple, okay? Anybody else who wants to try? Can, can, can I try? Yes, Oscar. Well, oh, well, well, just, just one second, Oscar. Carla, at the beginning, I saw that you raised your hand. Oh, okay. Just Go. let me. Class. Storm. Carla Rene. Okay, my example okay. is. Then, uh, sorry, then Carla and then Oscar, okay? Good. Thank you. My example is about price for customers. First, the product must be searched. Second, prices has to be consulted with some suppliers by calls or text messages in social media. Then, the best supplier's location has to be selected. After that, Calculate the taxes and new prices for the customers. And finally, send to customer the prices by email and wait for an answer. Very good. Okay. So you see two different areas. Okay. And then a process on how to how to buy things, right? And how to find estimated prices. Okay, yes. Very good, Carla. Thank you very much. Okay, Oscar, go ahead. Okay, it's my turn. So just, just a question uh, okay. about the, the, the word that Julio uh, used. And he said numb mm -hmm. uh, part of the body has to be, needs to be dumb uh, before to, or, or after the, the anesthesia. I mean, is it that kind of uh, your body part is sleepy? Uh -huh. Just to, to use an example, sleepy. Exactly, all okay. right, all right. Okay. That's okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. So my uh, topic was uh, learning about uh, repeating electronic devices. Uh, so in order to uh, learn about repeating uh, electronic devices, especially uh, audio equipment, is it necessary to enroll into a course to uh, to the classes. Uh, so, so the classes uh, need to be taken Monday through Friday. Then the classes received need to be started day by day. Next, some exercises about measuring, uh, for example, voltage, ohms, alternate current, uh, direct current uh, need to be done. Then some uh, practicing exercises have to be completed once a month to finally say that you're able to know the very basic of electronic uh, field. That's it. Great, excellent. Uh, you know, the, uh, I like what, what you guys are talking about because uh, you are using actually technical vocabulary, right? 
and it's something that we probably I'm I might not be an expert on those uh, things that you're talking about, but you know, but we can understand. Okay, probably know in detail or how to fix something, but the explanation is clear. Okay, good. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Hector, go ahead. Okay, teacher. If if you would like to check your car, you need to follow some steps. First, we need to have a scan tool. Second, it's necessary to check the battery if I have a problem. After, with the scan tool, we can read the code about the issues that the car has, that the car has. Next, the code has to be cleared. Finally, if the code hasn't been cleaned, cleaned, we need to call some pre some professional people like a mechanic or electronic. Okay, so an, an, like a ele electrician. Yes, the person who who fixes the electrical parts of the car. Yeah, the okay. electrician or or somebody who knows about electronic issues. Okay, very good, nice. Actually, nowadays it's more complicated to to try to fix a a car by yourself. I remember that many years ago, we had the uh, the plugs, the spark plugs, and it was easy to change those spark plugs in your house, or you know the to change, for example, the the platinum uh, that have the to make the car uh, start, and there were some uh, the the cables for the spark plugs also were very easy to change. So there were many things, but now you open a car and you immediately close it again because I mean you don't know what what wire to pull or or, or what you have to move, right? So the only thing I know is where the where I can measure the the oil level, the water level, and the brakes fluid level. That's all I do, and then uh, the rest is the mechanic. Okay. But it's, it's very interesting, you know, to have, like you said, a, a scan a tool is, is, is a great help. Okay, very good, Hector. Thank you very much. Anybody else who wants to share? Giovanni, I know you had a lot to say, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries, teacher. Okay, actually, I did something. Yeah, really quick pause. Yeah. Okay, I had some situations, nevertheless, and it's regarding how to make a peanut butter sandwich. Okay, I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. In order to make a peanut butter sandwich, you need to follow the next steps. First, first of all, we have to have selected the slices of our favorite type of bread. Um, after we have, after we have it, we need to look for our peanut butter that we like the most. Next, in a dish, we need to build it. Uh, that with, uh, I'll give it just a second. Next, in a dish, we need to build it. And with the help of a spoon, we need to spread in the peanut butter in the slices. And at the end, if you had decided to add any other complement. Is it okay? But just don't forget that if the taste is sweet, we need to look for ingredients that's much with that taste. And if it's salad, too much with salad too. And at the end, enjoy it. Okay, good. You know, it's good. sometimes it's good a mix of a little bit salad and sweet, but, but not too much, right? Something that really <laughs> yeah. matches to us. Okay, good. Thank you. All right, people, you see, this is, you know, uh, from now on, we have more more time in the classes because uh, we have, for example, three more classes. Let me see, yes, three classes. Like two more classes to cover unit uh, section four. So then we have time to go slower and practicing, okay? So the ones who, uh, who didn't practice today, so for the next time, you know, try to prepare something and don't be shy, you know, this is the... Uh, the way that we're going to to improve our English, right? Practicing, asking, uh, because you know, in this way, you know, okay, let's see if somebody else understands 
when I speak, right? So how do you know that? Speaking only, right? And then I, the person, the other person understands, or the other people understand, the audience understands, is because I am doing it right, okay? So congratulations, okay, for those who participated today, and for the others, no. I, actually, you know, sometimes there is not enough time in the one hour to listen to everybody, but, you know, you may have chance in the next, okay, for Monday. Actually, I'm going to process to tell you, you know what we can is our so you can prepare for monday okay now let's see this one we're going to do this exercise it's about yeah and this is a little bit longer so this is we're going to do this one all. okay instructions the sentence below describe how a movie is made Complete the sentences using the passive. No capital letters, no periods needed. Okay? So to complete the script, it has to... Or did we do this one yesterday? No, huh? No, we couldn't. No, I remember, no. Okay. No. Yes, has to be... Divided. Has to be, I guess, yes. Be divided, only be. Divided. Okay, this is to be. This is supposed to be correct. The filming details need to be written out. Be okay. This is something that you have to remember all the time, right? Written. You have write, wrote, written. Okay, write oh. in present, wrote in past, and written in past participle. Be written. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Written. Yes. Double T. Okay. That's why the pronunciation is not written because it's double T. In the case of, in the present, we say right because it's only one T, okay? Number three. Be prepared. Okay, be prepared. Okay. They are giving, you know, like the, the repetition of B plus the past participle. B plus the past participle. Number four. Actors are, are chosen. chosen teacher. Are chosen. Now we have the conjugation. Are chosen. Only one O. Locations are picked. Are yes. Picked with P, right? This one are picked. picked. Are picked. Exactly. Are picked. That's correct. Next one. Are designed. Are uh, designed. Uh, customs are are designed, correct? Right? Yes. Are designed. Okay. The outline. Is expanded. Is expanded. Very good. Okay. Very important, you know, the use of verb to be. Is, are, be. Now, after. The script is completed. It is completed. Okay. A director. Is higher. A director, yes, is higher, correct. The final film is created. Is created, correct. Is created. Yes. Number 11. Is composed. Is composed. Correct. Composed. Is it with B? Composed. Okay, and the last one? Is finished. Is finished. It's finished. Is finished. Is finished. Okay. Let's see how. 
उम्मीद दे रहे सही गो आह सॉरी मैं यू राइट इन आउ आउ the phrasal verb okay that's it okay so then you see for example the modal forms be has to be need to be has to be and then those are modal forms then the other ones are the normal verbs like are chosen are picked uh, locations are picked is like locations are selected, okay? How they select the locations, okay? If uh, this is going to be a, a, obviously a movie about charts, they have, uh, the shots have to be made in water. So sometimes they probably go to a lake or in a swimming pool. I remember that in the with the film, with the movie, they make us believe that they are in an ocean. Sometimes they are just in a swimming pool, right? So mm -hmm. then this is uh, the magic of the of the movie industry. Okay. Well, this one is listening. I'm going to do this one after because I want you to see this. Understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay, so I just want to show you this a little bit. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have... A location scout who finds... Okay. So if you see in this one... A uh, location scout travels all over the world. A uh, location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. What happens here is that in the uh, the two uh, the non-defining or non-defining relative clauses help us to make out of two sentences one sentence, and then the language, the idea, sounds more fluent. That is the objective, right? To make the language sounds more fluent. And then in the non-defining, if you see, you will find the commas. But if you extract the information where the commas are, the sentence still makes sense. For example, a location scout travels all over the world. The sentence is still meaningful. But uh, we don't know exactly, you say, a location scout, people knows, like a, a, football, uh, a football player scout travels all over the world. Uh, a football probably scout is a person who finds soccer players for teams or national teams all over the world. Okay, so this is what we are going to to see you on Monday, so if you can watch this video, and then you will have a better idea on what we are going to do on Monday. All right. Okay, now just let me.
Let's see if they put it ready. Okay, so then we have uh, okay, Francisco Antonio is here, right? Present teacher. Yes. Giovanni, yes. Hector Ivan also. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, Ivan Ibrahim. Here, teacher. Yeah, there you are. Joel Emanuel. Well, no. Present. Yes, there you are. George, Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Well, Joselino, yes. Yeah, he told me. Okay. Yes, no problem, Joselino. Good. Julio Cesar? Here, teacher. Carla Selena? I'm going to throw Carla. Carla Rene, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Catherine? Luis Present, teacher. Luis Eduardo, yes. Present, teacher. Marlene? Elizabeth? Then we have Marlene Melissa. Present. Michelle Beatriz. Present. Okay, Neftali Antonio. Present. Yeah. And Oscar Alexander. Yes, right. Present, teacher. And Oscar Obdulio, too. Present. Romeo Vladimir. Present. Sara. Present. Yes, Alex. Here, Sofia. Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. Okay. And Sarah. Present, teacher. And Jenny. Teacher. Yes, sir. Good evening. Jose Lino Alvarenga, I'm here. Oh, yes, yes, no problem, Jose Lino. I, I, I read your message and I saw there. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you. And I read I read the message. Good. Okay, people, good. Then uh, remember, if you have any questions about the platform, uh, well, you can write in the WhatsApp. Uh, if you want to write to my WhatsApp, you can also use it. My number is there, right? Uh, in case you have any questions. Then have a very nice weekend. Relax, be good. Thank you. See you. Okay. okay. Have a good weekend. Thank you. You too. Okay. Thank Enjoy. You, thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night.